I've been a climber for, for 50 years, and I can't not be a climber. I tackle the wall the same way everybody else tackles the wall. Yeah, I guess it's that Marine Corps mentality, you just keep going and say the heck with it, we're gonna do it anyway. And plus, as an amputee with a prosthetic leg on one side and a really badly damaged leg on the other, uh, much less disabled as a climber than as a, than as a walker. So I can do more with my stump sometimes than I can my hand because I don't have fingers to get tired. <laughs> Paradox Sports is an organization that creates adaptive climbing communities for individuals with physical disabilities. We have individuals that have everything from missing limbs to neurological disorders to... From people that are deaf people that are blind, it's the people that are burned. Nice. But the central theme is it's individuals who love the outdoors and they're looking for a community. Climbers. And my friends Here. kind of put me up to it. They're like, you should do it, you should do it. And so I was surprised that I started climbing and here I am. And I didn't realize that I'm kind of a natural climber because I picked up the ice climbing so quickly. You know, climbing is all about problem solving. And it's fun to figure out how to move and how to make it work, how to figure it out. When I'm on the ice, you know, just pretty much forget about losing my leg and uh, trying to pull the next move. I'm just gonna loosen it up a little bit. This is what I love to do, that's why I'm here. I love a good challenge, you know, and it's just awesome. It really pushes myself to, you know, try harder. Keep going. I actually don't even use any adaptive equipment to climb. Killing it. It's the only sport I've ever participated in where I don't need something adaptive. It's a challenge for me. I have cerebral palsy, which means my whole entire right side is partially paralyzed. And it makes it harder to find a way to get to the top. So I'm, I'm focusing on one thing, analyzing the ice, thinking about my form, and knowing that I'm kind of struggling with the ice. But I love to be challenged. It may not necessarily be graceful or easy, but somehow they want to get to the top and they figure it out. After being injured, it was ex my exposure to Paradox Sports that got me out doing other things, you know. I think Paradox is a great group. They do a really good job of really tailoring the experience to each individual. And Paradox is like, come with us to learn how to do it, and then you can go and do it by yourself, too. Now I'm actually able to go out climbing without Paradox, but I choose to go climbing with Paradox. And I've never met a group of people that are less disabled than all of the amputees and disabled people here. We don't ask them what they lost. We ask them what they got. We say, show me what you got. Let me see what you can do. I don't care what you can't do. I don't care what you don't have. Let's get climbing. Let's see what we can do. Climb as much as you can. We celebrate what you got. We forget about what you don't have.